No, tell me your IG. Special. And my new website, my business page will be coming up soon though, on Facebook, two of them. So it'll separate the fitness and the uh, movement services. Right. All right. Daniel, hi, with me. Oh my God. Oh my, I need, you know what? I got to get the drum roll shit. I got to get the drum roll because guess who is coming in, you guys? Guess who's coming in? Coming in. It better be Sister Moody. Kiki. Look at God. All right, so oh, every, okay, oh, so let's let's go ahead and get started because, uh, as you know, Mr. Lou is a busy black man. All right, I am successful. <laughs> successful. Okay, so let's jump into this first topic, uh, which is do and today let's acknowledge that this is February was Black History Month, and today is the last day of Black History. So I want to like, I thought it was very important for him because I do, I am his Facebook friend, and I do see like his um his entrepreneurial hustle, and I respect it. All right, so are we actually supporting Black businesses or are we just like sharing their pages and using hashtags? You know, um, what are we doing? Like, how do we feel about this this Black business? I know we'd be like, remember uh, Kiki and Keisha, remember when we used to go to like a restaurant? We was like, oh, we're going to go to Black restaurants, you know, support Black restaurants when we used to go out and eat. But then it was like real cut, cut real short. And it was like, fuck it, we're going to Olive Garden. We're going to Red Lobster. Because <laughs> it, it wasn't that much. So how do we feel about supporting Black businesses? Um, Lou, how do you feel about it? And uh, you are a Black business, but how do you feel about it? How, how important is it? It's very important. You know, it's a must we support each other and reunite. You know what I'm saying? So it's something we got to part, you know, depart it from. So it's a must we just support each other and, you know, quit all that. Still talking, you know, just, just come straight forward. Like, if you have a problem, just come straight forward me, you know? So it just like that, you know, stop back, backlashing people. Just keep it 100. I mean... So I, think, I think what you're trying to say is, like, when you have an issue with the services that you provide, don't just, like, blast yeah, it, it. Come yeah. to you more behind the scenes so you can fix it. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, we'll keep it like that. that. If you can't perform a job like Lou Clemens can, then it's just not capable for you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a whole new plan coming. I'll be hiring soon. So if y'all can share that, I appreciate that. Oh, for and, sure. Uh, yeah, just we'll get it going. You know, we got to keep the marathon team. You know, it must keep the team. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, you know, I used to support you, but I can't eat that food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, listen, listen. Okay, well, since you said you, you, you talked about the services that you currently do now, and then you also touched bases on what's, what's coming in the future. So... Publicly, I'm going to say uh, my first food truck, I'm not just going to switch up. I can't switch up like that because I have a follow. Oh, no, 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 no. You, know? you so, can take your time. Take your time. Right. So what I plan on, uh, hopefully for my birthday, because I bought, I, I made a big purchase for my birthday, uh, my 35th mm -hmm. birthday this year, and um, which is a food When is your birthday? Uh, November the 16th. Oh, um, okay. No, yeah, mine so. is the 14th, right? I mean, I'm not worrying about you. You talking to the queen. You know what I'm, I'm talking about? I'm just saying. You man, know, man, I'm not worrying about you. Scorpio life. You talking to the queen, man. So, I, you know, I invested in myself. I'm real big on investing in myself. So, um, so hopefully, so basically the point of this is uh, I want to go vegan. I want to do my second food truck would be vegan uh, by November 16, 2021. That's my goal, you know, do vegan. So do, up until now, I'm going to start doing research and stuff. So I, I most definitely lose Whitney. I'll probably be reaching out to y'all because I know what you have. get, you know. I got you. Got you. Yeah, like I, right I need now. to. <laughs> right. But I'm waiting right. on you though. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I, I'm gonna have, I got. I like to have my shit together before I come to people. You know, I, really? don't, I, don't, I, got you I know though. you're a that's busy why, person, why, yeah, and I don't want to waste nobody's time because I don't have time to waste either. So when I'm like, you know, because I need to do some recipes, like switch up. I want to hire like vegan chefs and stuff, like you know. But already, yeah, it's got very to. important. So how do y'all feel about it? Let's um, and let's remember. Uh, you know, let's kind of. Courtney, how do you feel about it? Um, do you actually support black businesses or are you just one of those people that just share it online, do the hashtag and keep it moving? Um I I just you well, you know I'm supporting you girl. <laughs> I'm going broke ordering from you. But um, what's it called? I support black businesses. I'm actually I'm do, going on a trip in May and I'm actually looking for like um 
black owned places that like the clothes that I want and stuff like that, the clothes, type of clothes I'm into, I'm looking for, but I'm not the type to share all the time. Um, well, I'm not the type to share a lot of stuff, period, but like I'm not the type to share or, you know, spread the word or anything else like that. So I guess that's kind of where I'm at fault with that. But I, I believe I do support black businesses and stuff like that. Yeah, I think you do it personally. Of course, not like internet wise, you don't like share it like that, but you're more like behind the scenes of saying, oh, you know what? Like you're like that. You're like the word of mouth uh, promoter, pretty much. Right. Um, um, Kiki, what about you? As you know, I done supported you throughout all your businesses. Right. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself. Oh, I'm, mm -mm, I'm, mm -mm. I'm, 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 listen, I'm 35. I'm retiring in five years. I'm letting you know. You, you, you know, I keep talking about it because it's going to happen. I'm retiring. That's all right. Dan, Daniel said all 17. No, Daniel. All 20. Okay. <laughs> Hot days, cold days, wet days. <laughs> all of it. But, um... I do believe in support and well, I'm a big fan of support and um if I if if it don't get me in trouble, legit black legit uh legit black businesses. And when I say legit, it doesn't mean that everybody, you know, like being illegal or anything like that. Just um you have some people or you have some that's out there, I, I kind of feel like they open like too too soon. Until they're not they, ready, they're you not know, ready before the they, capacity. right, or yeah. or either they they did it before they actually perfected what they needed to perfect to make it. But I'm all down for supporting black businesses. Um, is I mean to me that's a it's a great thing because, like you said, we we cut it short. We went to Olive Garden. Yeah. We go um, over here. We go eat there. We go stay here. We go do all this for them. And um, my biggest thing will get me, though, is when they come to the black people and be like, oh, let me get the hook up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that that right there bothers me because three all, three ethnicity, three different ethnicities have the same price of one item. And when they get to the black person, let me get a hook up. Yeah. But they don't do that to the other ones. That that bothers me a whole lot. I feel, a whole lot. I feel like if you're going to support them support them just like you would the next person or the next Absolutely. ethnicity so but yeah I'm, I'm big on it so i share i hashtag i do all that stuff but i'm big on supporting le legitimate ones. those that i know you know doing right making right not trying to cheat people um right, i was just gonna say to counter that a lot of a lot of um not like business black businesses that don't have like good products or good services or stuff like that expect yeah. support just because they're a black business you know what i mean right. like that's their sole thing right um, but i like how you said like you support like the legit ones and stuff like that and you know yeah so i think i think I like, the same way yeah they're, they're basically they're uh emphasizing what uh kiki talking about uh the support is there we want to see our people succeed it's just like if you're not ready yet if you don't have if you're not properly staffed you don't have the stuff on the menu or you don't have all the services like together like you don't you can't do it then don't do it like not saying put it on the back burner but just postpone the opening postpone you know until you can get adequate services or at that what you need uh because you want positive reviews because you already know um uh, Charlemagne says this a lot. He says, uh, you know, the lie is more entertaining than the truth. So if uh, you are selling chicken wings and somebody, you got 10 flavors and because somebody is a diehard honey mustard fan and you don't have honey, you got all the other nine flavors, but the honey mustard, you just ran out. It was a line. They saw it was a line when you pulled up. They will go out and be like, you know what? Uh, they, they'll just do some BS, pretty much, you know. Mm -hmm. And what pisses yeah, what pisses me off? Me. What pisses me off is like people that um uh, that that come to you with bad intentions. You know, they have you have spies that come in with bad intentions because they homegirl or they cousin or they friend. Let's just use me transparency. Like they they people cook as well. Like I had someone that was online um saying some something negative about me that I called B heck on somebody. I'm like, why the fuck would I call? I'm the trap queen when it comes to food. Like, I, I serve, like, anywhere. Like, 
I'm from the hood. I'm from the projects. You know, like I will put up a tent, do a pop up anywhere. Like, why would I call D head? That's the police. Like, we don't supposed to, we don't snitch. Like, D head in the food industry is the police. I ain't snitching on nobody. Get your money. Okay. <laughs> you know, but that it pissed me off when I saw that because what happened is when I pre COVID, I used to go viral a lot with my foods and stuff. And so it went viral and I saw where somebody shared it. And I saw where one of my Facebook friends was like, yeah, uh, she, this the girl that, that uh, told on blah, blah, blah. I'm like, why the fuck would I tell on her? Like, I make a lot of money, honey. Like, I'm not worried about you selling out your house. I make thousands of dollars in hours. And I don't be, I don't, I don't want to go that route, but I could go that route, but I try not to do that. But you have people that just try to sabotage you with black businesses and stuff. Like you'll give the white, the Caucasian workers or employees or whoever businesses, you'll get them chance after chance after chance after chance. You like olive, you can come out with a piece of hair in your, your soup at Olive Garden or your salad at Olive Garden, which I love their salad, by the way. But uh, but yeah, you'll come to me and you'll find a piece of red hair. You know what? I can't do it. I can't do it. And one girl, I'm letting you know now publicly. I remember shit. And I'm a Scorpio. I ain't that forgiving like that. You know, God keeps it, God's still working on me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that right to refuse services to the best of my ability. So I'm keeping a handbook, a picture of when I see y'all do like little bullshit comments and stuff. And when you come oh to my the gosh, future, Ashley. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> listen, God is still working on me, you know. <laughs> Because one something pissed me off real bad uh within the last two weeks because somebody did something they, they told a lie on me and then i found out i'm like she's so concerned she blasting stuff on the oh, internet God. she ain't got custody of her kids but that's another topic but anyway and i'm ready for oh you. my gosh hey but it, keep yeah. it by hey hey stay on so our anywho topic. so we're gonna move hey, on, on from that hey, so we, hey man, hey, hold on. we moving on how do you feel about black businesses you support them, uh, like just visiting them, or do you actually like share? I I know y'all do, but you know I have to ask it because of you know. But how do you feel about it? Yeah, that? yeah. But when it comes, can y'all hear me clearly? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So um, when it comes to black businesses, there's always levels to the support. Like I've seen um, something shared on social media, and I was trying to go back and find the picture that was shared but pretty much it was just saying it's levels to support in businesses and um to your question when you ask are you supporting black businesses or are you just sharing in hashtags i feel like that's low level but that's still a point of support because right. you may have services or products that i don't necessarily need or i don't have really can't promote that to my friends or my family that may want that product or, or want that service. So, you know, even though you people share on Facebook or they, sh you know, whatever they do on social media to get the name of your business. Hello? 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 You know, Hello? actually Hello? buying the products and somebody selling shirts and somebody has some kind of tax, tax preparation business or something like that and you're actually taking your money and buying products or buying whatever service, that's another level of support. So I feel like I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, somebody, you know, if it's, you got a certain group of people or a certain person that's only sharing or only commenting or only doing that, like that's still supporting you and still getting your name out there. Um, and also like, I feel like it's important for us to, to help each other in the community. You know, I feel like kind of what Ashley said, you don't want it to be like, you know, you are so forgiving and graceful when it comes to other people. But as soon as your brother or sister mess up, it's just like, oh, I can't do this no more. You know, I done gave you one chance. I gave you one chance to do right by us and you did wrong, you know. But I feel like, you know, as a community, it's important for us to support each other, even when things may not be so good, you know. So like if you use you, if you're using somebody's service and I don't know, let's say they got. I don't know, a nail, a nail business, a nail tech or whatever the case may be. They got a nail business, you went and got your nails done and your fingernail was crooked. They put the fingernail on there crooked or you asked for a particular design. They didn't design it exactly how you want it. Give your honest critique and feedback and love because I promise when you do that and it's coming from somebody they know uh, has a, 
uh, good, have their best interest at heart, they're going to receive it differently. So that's going to allow them to improve on whatever service or product they're providing and, you know, get the best quality. So it, that that review and critique part is very important. So if you have a bad experience, don't just say, oh, I had a bad experience. I ain't right, going right. back no more. Just be like, I had a bad experience. Let me address it and let them know because they might not even know. Like you say, oh, they're food nasty. Well, they might not even know it has a certain taste to it or it has a certain whatever. And you're just letting it go. So, you know, that, that review and critique is also important to support each other. And um, I also want to address the thing that Kiki said about the discount. So I definitely don't think that you should just be going around just because somebody is has a black business or whatever that you should be, um, you know, asking for handouts or discounts all the time. However, I shop. I don't like to shop in, di in department stores a lot, but, you know, I, I shop, you know, I buy different products, buy different things. And I'm a shopper and I like discounts. So I don't think I feel like it should be more appreciative and welcome you know like you know businesses give discounts you know they give customer appreciation they give 10 percent off 20 percent off so if somebody if another brother or sister comes up to you and you have something they're like dang you know um you like i don't know what the negotiation whatever they i don't think we should immediately get offended because people like discounts they like to save money so i i think every so often you should have something i don't think you should immediately take offense to, Oh, you ask me a discount, I'm gonna pay full price. You know, I believe in definitely supporting, you know, but dang, just because somebody asks for a discount, don't chew them out. Just like, oh, you better pay full price. Everybody likes to save money. You know, it's a way of going about doing things. Like I said, that's not to say that you should be asking for discounts every time, but don't get offended as a business. Because I, I mean, businesses are like, they're like, okay, when is going on clearance? When is this going on sale? We want the discounts. So take that into consideration I also and take think, some oh. customer service. I also think Kiki was that's referring okay. to the people that want discounts when they're giving discounts, though. Like, I don't I, think it's somebody that's like saying, I want a discount. I think it's somebody that's like, hey, by the way, I got 25% off. So, what you going to give me? I'm your brother. You can yeah, give me 30%. Yeah, yeah. I'm already giving 25%. In the black community, saying, no. I don't think that's a discount. In the black community, that's on some. Cut me a master deal. Master Cut me a break. Master T type shit. That's yeah. the I want the hookup type. Yeah. You know? Yeah, right, right. And most right. like, it's usually like from somebody that they know, like they know yeah. somebody who started a business and they're like, man, I'm spending money with you. You might as well get, get, come on and give bro a discount. You know, like it's usually someone that you know. Well, in the food right. industry, when I, when I travel and stuff <laughs> a lot, um, like the type of what you say is totally true about people that you know, but I get strangers that ask me stuff, but it's always on some, some, some like, yo, I mean, what's up with you? I mean, you going to give a brother what? Brother what? <laughs> I got you. You can get this phone number. That's what you can get. <laughs> you ain't getting no discount, you know. So Sorry. I've had guys that do stuff like that, you know. Um, but I, I just think that uh, I agree with both Whitney and um, Kiki. Um, but most definitely, uh, as far as Whitney go, I did start, you know, you should offer like loyalty cards, like on the back of your business cards. Yes. Like do, do like little 10 to 12 things. So every time they spend over a certain amount, you can stamp it or whatever. Yeah. And um, you give it to them. Okay. And like, because people have loyal customers. Like I have loyal customers, you know, whatnot. Um, so I, I do think that. So I think what you should walk away from this is that like, uh, make sure you listen to everybody. Um, but offer some type of discount because there is like teachers, military, uh, whatever. And then do something every month. So instead of just being like catching an attitude, like what Whitney was saying, you can say, well, follow my business page because we do something. We try to do something every month because damn near every month is a holiday. Like uh, March is coming up what, tomorrow. So mm -hmm. a St. Patrick's Day, you know, um, thing, you know, wear green on March the 17th. You get 10 percent off, you know. But uh, Daniel, what's your... Um, yeah, uh, your your advice, your thoughts on that um, about supporting Black business. I definitely agree with Whitney uh, when she was talking in the beginning of what she said. Like it just levels to it. Um, right. There has been companies or or business owners that I've known that don't got nothing to do with anything that I got going on. And they'll be like, hey, you know, I know you got a sister you can buy for. I know, like, you know, women will hit me right. up and be like, I'm selling hair. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll post it. <laughs> right, and she's right. like, See, you ain't going, you know, I know you got like a mama that you could buy a hundred dollar wig for. And I'm like, my mama don't wear wigs. Like, it's just, wait, wait, I'm not going to. I didn't even think you know about I mean? harassment. Harassment. Like, there's, like, there's literal yeah, businesses that do that. It's literal mm -hmm. businesses that do that. So, um, wow. and, the, 
if I could, I know everybody gave like their opinion. If I can get my opinion, just if you're just starting out, make your prices competitive. And that's the main thing with me. And that's why a lot of people ask for discounts because you're charging the same as a company that sells something similar to you that's been around for 30 years. You're charging the same, like, I'll give you an example. Like, you don't do this, Ashley, but if Ashley's Yummy Tummy was serving the same prices as Red Lobster and you just, I don't even know if you can cook. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm, I, make your prices competitive. That's one thing I had. I had, I own a photography business, a videography business. There's a photographer on every corner. Honestly, right. somebody with a camera wants to start a business. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm talking to people about weddings, I ask, so what are the other things, what are the other companies you will talk to? What are their prices? Or just tell me the other companies that you're involved yeah. with. And I will go to their website and see their prices and make their comprise. Not, I'm not going to lower myself to, to where it's crazy. I still know my worth and I know my work's worth, but I still got to be competitive. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not charging $10,000 for but it. Just depends a, on the business too. I was well, going I mean, to say it, it depends does, on the but you still have to be competitive. Have, because be competitive. like if you, it just takes even like that example that you just used, like let's say, okay, Ashley does have a, her business. But like Ashley has her business and let's say she's selling the exact same foods that Red Lobster is selling and she's charging Red Lobster price. It's going to be a difference because because one, Ashley is the owner. She's the cook. She's the, the, the server. She's the all of these things in one person. And so I think that that that's the reason why sometimes I think that a lot of the times the products that black businesses offer tend to seem higher in price is because they're working only as one one the one business owner like they're and doing everything that, they're in the not... business oh go ahead i didn't mean to cut you off i'm sorry no 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 i was just saying like they're doing everything in the business so sometimes i think that does reflect in the price and for some people that may not know about a lot of those things they may view it as oh you know she's selling which, whatever the product is at what you call it price, I can go over here and get it for whatever, whatever. So I think it's important to also just kind of be conscious when you're supporting, because that is it's a difference. Like, you know, we have these expectations of, of black business owners, but it, it is a difference. You know, like when you're considering the price, you're considering who you're buying from. I feel like we should all keep those things in mind about, you know, if, if they're the only person that's providing this this service or this product and they have to go through a lot to get it prepared then you know don't just automatically think their prices are outrageous you know sometimes they definitely are you know people price their stuff wrong all the time but you know if it's it's if it's somewhat more expensive than somebody else like taking take that into consideration and if you don't like it i mean you can always just go to somebody else you don't have to bash anybody's bit like if you don't like the price you don't have to get on social media and just be like, oh, I don't like the product. Just go to the other person. <laughs> and I, right. I totally, I totally get what you're saying though, about the, as far as, you know, it being that one person that has multiple jobs, I totally understand that. But let's think about the consumer for a minute. The consumer is not going to care about that. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to say it that black and white, but the consumer is not going to care if you own a business and you do everything because in the consumer's mind, they're always right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so that's, and, and that's, that's another, that's another that's sign that I'm putting on, right. my, on my window. Right. And that's the thing is, not always right. Right. and they're not always right. And I totally agree with that. But that's just me working in customer service for so long. Like, oh, it, it just y'all. doesn't. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure everybody in here has worked in customer service. It's just they're right. not thinking about that. They're coming right. in here I, to inquire about a product. And if they're paying any kind of money, they're going to want that product how it is and they're still gonna be like let's be honest i mean i'm sh- everybody here has uh, Lou, shop. Lou, can you flip your flip your phone you sideways <laughs> perfect all right go ahead there you go oh i'm just saying like everybody has bargain shop at one point in time in their life right. you know what i'm saying everybody has checked this price and then went over mm-hmm. here and checked this price and then went For over sure. here and checked this price you know what i'm saying hey esther yeah. so i'm just saying like you know that's the reason why I say I'm not saying bring yourself down. If somebody is is charging a, an outrageously low price, then know your worth. But I'm saying at the same time, like I, even right. if I, I've went to weddings, I've had to been the photographer and the videographer by myself. 
I used to have I had to have one camera set up and then still running around for the other camera. I'm still gonna be competitive with somebody else until I get to the point. Cause I'm not to the point where I can say this is my product. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Like you. Yeah, that's what you. I'm saying. Like kind of like act your wage a little bit. Like you just started two <laughs> weeks ago and you charging yeah, you know, three hundred dollars for a wig different. that you just yeah, made. It. If you don't that's have the experience saying. under your belt, then okay. Then yeah. That's, that's what different. I'm talking about. I think that's, that's a little different than what Whitney was saying. But I get what you're saying. Let me get some money, yo. Y'all being greedy, dog. <laughs> Look, but that's just like um, but what what Daniel was saying, that's just like if we all think about if we think about it, um, we got three nail salons in Marion. One of them pedi- one of them their pedicure their basic pedicure is cheaper. One of them, I'm not sure which one, but one of them their pedicure is cheaper. Um, you got the Chinese restaurants. Their food started off at one price until they saw the business was was picking up. And the next thing you know, the price is just like what skyrocketed. And yeah. and I love I love my dearly. I love her dearly. When she first started, before she built the restaurant she has now, the one across from McDonald's. When she first started, her prices wasn't like this what they are now. No. But she got to the point like people were coming in Sundays. She's packed out. People having to wait. And then she needed a new building. She tore that down, built a new building, got the stuff in the back and all that stuff. And now her prices are up, but people. People notice it, but they don't notice it to the point they're like, I ain't coming here no more and all that stuff. But you do have those other people out there that'll do that to black businesses. When black businesses do the same thing and they get their people coming in and now they get to the point that they can actually go up at least a little bit, not outrageously, but excuse me, at least a little bit in order to even start doing their profit and doing what the business is worth. You got, oh, I, I can't go back there no more. I yeah. can't do it. And right, then that's right. when those ones do come in and be like, well, you know, wait, wait, wait the discount, wait the hookup. Like, it's okay to do your sales. It's okay to do your discounts and stuff. But just because you're my first cousin, don't mean you're supposed to come through here thinking I'm always <laughs> supposed to give you a $25 thing. Business for $2. is business. Business right. is business. Straight up. And so that's, that's, I yeah. see like, I see that a lot. I, I mean, even, um, helping with like Ashley and stuff and seeing like other people and all that stuff. I see that a lot of people is like, well, I'm your cousin. I'm, I'm your this, I'm your that. It's either you go, you know, it's either you going to support me and help me or you not. I mean, you don't go to all three salons and be like, what's your price? Right. What's your price? Yeah. And, and I, I get a lot of, um, I, I'm going to touch on two things and then we can move on to the second one. Um, as far as like prices go, um, because when you use the Chinese restaurant, uh, consumers, y'all, customers, y'all need to also understand that it's a thing called overhead, you know? So she started out wherever she started out at, but then she wanted to make it more, instead of just more of a walk-in and pick up, take out service, she's made it to where you can dine in now, you know? So that comes with a price. So I I frequent that place back in the day a lot. So I've witnessed uh, her sitting down with like an account manager and they, they, I've overheard them say, you need to increase this. You need to do that. You know, where her prices was too low. And trust me, when I have moved to Columbia compared to a Marion Chinese restaurant in Columbia, like, I'm like, oh, I ain't used to paying these prices, but I know I ain't in that area no more, you know, but mm-hmm. over here. So for me, using me, using transparency, I'm getting a food truck built. I got to go up on my prices because I just invested in something that cost me a house. Or whatever. And then also I got to hire more employees. So yeah. where I just used to have two employees, now I'm going to need five employees, you know? So I got to take care of that. And then also because of COVID, food prices have went up on certain things, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you have to, you know, you just, just look at it like that. Let's use some common sense type stuff or whatever. Yeah. All right. Hey. But, you have anything you want to add to that to close that out? Yeah, with? I have a lot I want to add. I'll just let y'all okay. take y'all time. All right. Oh, Look. hold on now, Lou. Pack it down now. I'm good. I said I was letting y'all take y'all time. You didn't hear that? Oh, okay, okay. It's all, of, it's all about how you interpret things. You intake, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, this is just a conversation space. I mean, sometimes you jump in, jump out. I mean, say what oh, no, I let, I'm patient, yo. I let, I let people talk because that's respect, you know what I'm saying? So cutting off somebody, okay. that's disrespect, but people interpret, well, intake things the wrong way. Like, you thought I probably got aggressive with you but i did 
Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we so double just, Dutch here. We, we jump rope on this show. We, yeah, yeah, we, we jump rope a lot. Yeah, we okay. double Dutch. We double yeah. Dutch. Yeah, we yeah, jump rope well, a lot. Well, like you say, we're going we gonna, to uh, jump on to the next one. How you go ahead, though. You good? Oh, no, go ahead. Now, y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah, 